Good morning, afternoon, and evening. Enclosed is a letter that I sent to Bill Gates in response to his comments during a recent TechCrunch meeting. It's going to sound like I'm reading. That's because I actually am. Dear Bill, during a recent TechCrunch Tech Crunch conference, you mentioned that you weren't involved in cryptocurrency and that NFTs, non-fungible, non-fungible tokens, were 100% based on the greater fool theory. People love to troll the internet and kick someone when they're down. They say ignorant things without knowing the facts. I never expected you out of all people would be one of them. Why? Well, it was you that helped create not just the largest software company in the world, but also one with the highest rank by ESG criteria. Even Elon Musk would probably agree. You're known for reading 50 books per year. Surely you must have read one. You must have picked up one book somewhere that spoke about blockchain, or maybe you spoke to one of your well-informed connections. So I'm writing you to tell you that cryptocurrency and blockchain are real. As blue, as real as the sky is blue. Don't listen to your divorce lawyer, Charlie Munger and his friends, Warren Buffett. As they say, D-Y-O-R, do your own research. Blockchain is disruptive technology, exactly as Clayton Christensen described in his book, The Innovator's Dilemma. Surely, Blockchain simple, scrappy technology reminds you out of all people of, of those early days in, in Microsoft when you try to build that Trojan horse called MS-DOS. I admire what you're doing at the Bill Melinda Gates Foundation, which in summary has a mission to provide the opportunity for every person to reach their full potential, regardless of their race, ethnicity, and where they live. So wouldn't the characteristics of a blockchain, which lowest cost to zero, it's decentralized, scalable, immutable, and secure. So wouldn't that, in the creation of DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations, help your foundation with its mission? This is the way humanity moves forward. Remember, democracy too is a form of decentralization. Blockchain is today's version of that great equalizer. Let's just examine one concept related to the above. Non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. They aren't just about simple cartoons of ugly apes that sell for ungodly sums. They're your horse, they're your Trojan horse. NFTs are unique digital assets or physical assets converted, meaning tokenized, into digital ones. They eliminate intermediaries, enhance supply chains, and bolster security, including authenticating assets. But what's really exciting about NFTs is the making of the creator economy, an economic opportunity for everyone. Whether you're a painter or musician, or you're from Beirut or from Bronxville, everyone can be part of the same ecosystem. Creators can receive true value for their creations, interact with consumers directly, and have their families participate in royalty streams long after they've left this earth. And I haven't even talked to you about the benefits of decentralized gaming. So Bill, why, why, why would you be against all these benefits? I'm guessing you didn't know, and that's okay. But do me a favor, go ahead, pick up that blockchain book. See you around, Dominic, thank you.